Lagos State Government has banned the use of non-reusable plastic and styrofoam food takeaway packs due to the menace the said types of disposable takeaway plates often used at eateries, ceremonies and by caterers have caused in the environment. The Lagos State Government in a press release on Sunday blamed the blockages of water or erosion drainages on the use of the said plastic and styrofoam takeaway packs. The state's commissioner, Ministry of Environment and Water Resources, Tokunbo Wahab, made this known in a statement on Sunday. According to the statement, which was posted on X by the ministry's spokesperson, Kunle Adeshino, alongside a video showing a lot of styrofoam takeaways packs inside water or erosion drainages, the government said the use of the plastics has caused a menace in the environment. The statement read, most drainage channels in the state are daily clogged up by styrofoam and other plastics through its indiscriminate distribution and usage despite the regular cleaning and evacuation of the drains with humongous amounts. The commissioner added that the state government cannot fold its hands and watch the continued desecration of its environment especially for a coastal city. The statement added that the commissioner has directed the Lagos West Management Authority and the kick against indiscipline to immediately commence the implementation of the ban. He asked the two agencies to clamp down on all the production companies and distribution outlets for styrofoam in the state to prevent further distribution. The commissioner advised producers, distributors, and end users of these styrofoam packs to take the ban seriously and find alternatives or risk heavy fines and other penalties including sealing of their premises. Wahab advised consumers and residents to boycott styrofoam packs and single-use plastics and imbibe the practice of using reusable food containers and water bottles for their food and drinks. Accordingly, the Punch newspaper reiterated that it reported in January 2023 that Lagos State had continued to battle the menace of plastic pollution despite the estimated $2 billion recycling industry in Nigeria. According to the report, Lagos State produces 170,000 tons of plastic garbage annually, and despite the government's efforts to address the threat of plastic pollution and turn it into a profitable venture, the environmental concern just won't go away. In a September report, a non-governmental organization, the Center for Earth Works, lamented the indiscriminate use and disposal of plastic materials by Nigerians and demanded an end to plastic pollution in the country. This is the horrible scene of a public crescent. This is horrible. The worst I've ever seen of. It's raining. I will have a normal truck coming. I don't know what they are coming to do. I don't know. This is horrible.